A powerful winter storm is taking aim at the northeast this morning. Blizzard conditions and more than a foot of snow are expected in parts of New England. The severe weather is making roads treacherous. People are being told not to drive. Some places could see up to two feet of snow. This is the second major storm in less than a week to hit the region. Don Daler's in Portland, Maine, where snow's already been piling up. Don, good morning. It really has. Good morning. This huge pile shows you just how much snow has been coming down, and the worst is yet to come. The winds have been so high, it's a bit of a Sisyphean effort on the part of snowplow operators. As soon as they get the streets clear, the winds blow it all back on again. For them, for the tow truck operators, and for first responders, it's going to be a long day. A major nor'easter slammed into northern New York and New England on Sunday. Just days after another storm blasted towns and cities across the northeast. Wind gusts of more than 50 miles per hour and as much as two feet of snow have been forecast throughout the region. Blizzard-like conditions and slick roads caused several accidents and drivers to slide off the highway. A woman was rescued from a frozen pond in New Jersey after her car jumped the curb and crashed through the ice. Don McEwen jumped in to save her. In Portland, Maine, firefighters spent hours clearing away an oil tanker truck that jackknifed on the interstate. Highway workers have been working overtime to keep on top of the fast-moving storm. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker urged drivers to take caution. Don't crowd the plows. Allow the personnel and the equipment to keep on doing the work they're doing to keep the roads clear. Outside Boston, a 60-year-old man was killed as a plow was backing up in a hospital parking lot. At a Massachusetts airport, emergency responders rushed to help five people on board a private plane that skidded off the runway. No one was injured. The hazardous conditions canceled hundreds of flights into and out of several major northeast airports. In fact, all flights in and out of Portland's jet port have been canceled since last night. They won't resume again until 8 p.m. Eastern tonight because that's when the bulk of this storm is expected to move off the coast. Nora. All right, Don. Wow, they're in the snow. Thank you.